Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. Hope you all had a good week and a good weekend. I'm trying to remember if I made a video this week or not. <laughs> I tried to make one the other day, but my GoPro, for some reason, didn't charge. And the only camera that was running was the one on the back of the bike. And uh, I was thinking about making a video out of it, but I don't know. It just kind of, as I was watching, I just kind of started feeling car sick. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that to you. I can't explain why or how it was making me car sick, but it was. So, but yeah, it's been raining, high probability for rain, today is the only day that I get a chance to ride, because this weekend is going to be like 70% plus chance of rain and thunderstorms, so yay. And the weekend is usually when I cut my grass. So, I don't think I'll be doing that this weekend. Might have to do it tonight when I get home from work. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, Tuesday, miserable. Absolutely miserable. So much rain. And on the way home, of course, down here in the fine state of North Carolina, wet roads equals ice roads. Very icy. Can't do anything very crazy because you'll just slide all over the place. You can't, can't go over 35 miles an hour, no matter what the speed limit is. And people still get in accidents. Yeah. I'm sure other states are the same way to where when it's raining people just are afraid to do the speed limit because they think they'll fall and slide off and crash. It's like, trust your tires man, that's what they're made for. I mean, you have a lower probability I'm crashing than I do. And I've ridden in the rain on the bike. At first it sucks and then it's like, okay, I'm soaking wet. Let's have some fun with it. And I do. Yeah. I still gotta work on those. My U-turns. <sighs> I gotta work on it. A few things I gotta work on, but I'll get to it. I will get to it. Not so bad of a day. Weather is perfect. Got some cotton balls in the sky. Yeah, yeah. The way this light usually works is it waits till I get there, come to a complete stop, and then it changes. And it's like, yeah. pain in the buttocks. The bahooty.
heard a bird chirping and it kind of sounded like, a, what the hell is my tire doing? And then when I came to a stop, it sounded like, I don't know, rubber rubbing up against like plastic or something. I'm like, my tires are fine. I checked them before I left. And these people at these little turns here, you turns they don't give a fuck. They'll pull out in front of your ass. You know, you'll be doing 60, 65 or whatever. And they'll do the U-turn real quick and then they'll do 35. Because they're turning right here. I've seen so many accidents. So many T-bones you'd think it'd be a steakhouse. I hope you got that reference. But yeah. Because they think they have the right of way. And they don't. Just like that lady in that uh, Dodge Ram a few years ago. Did the U-turn in front of me? Thought she had to ride away. I think I know. I've, I've, I've thought about this. And I don't know if I've said this before or not. But I'm going to say it again, damn it. I think the reason why there's so many bad drivers on the road today more so than what there was prior to COVID is because of COVID. Everyone was getting their driver's license virtually. They didn't have to take a driving test. They didn't have to get behind the wheel of a car with an instructor and drive. You want to be stupid, get over, dumbass. So they sped up to get in front of me and to get in front of this Honda and now they slowed down. I don't get it. It's like they're in a rush just to get in front of somebody but that's the only reason why. I will never get that. Welcome to the jungle. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, they didn't have to take any type of tests or anything. It was all virtual. And their provisional license was for two years. Whether they have to take a test after that or not, I don't know. I never I didn't look that far into it. But if you think about it, it makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Oh, hell of a lot of sense. Oh, goody. Doesn't look like there's much traffic this morning. Yay! I love that. Let's hope it stays this way. Most of the traffic starts right here at this road. Now oh, we got a hitchhiker. She's walking the wrong way. Usually hitchhikers walk in the direction that they want to go. At least that's what I thought. I mean, I've never hitchhiked before, but in the movies, that's how they show it. You're walking on the side of the road with the flow of traffic in the direction you want to go. I 
I don't know. Maybe she's dyslexic, I don't know. Could be. Or doesn't know which way she wants to go. Whether she wants to go north or south, east or west. South by southeast. Ha. I think this side looks better for an escape path. Yeah. See, everybody on their cell phones. My cell phone either stays in my pocket or my cup holder when I'm in the car. I do not touch it. Can I get it open? Yeah, I got it open. That's a nice feeling. Some fresh air. Oh. Have you considered a career as a fuel technician? I wonder how many people that deal with fuel actually huff on the gas. And yeah. Well, they're hiring pretty much all in the southeast from Texas all the way up to Virginia. train and certify you. The real question is are you going to be traveling all the time? Out of the blind spots. It's all fine and dandy if, you know, if you, one, live alone with no pets, two, if you have someone at home to watch your pets, if you have pets, but if you have pets and you live alone, then uh, I can see where that could be a problem. Are they widening this up or what, what are they doing? What are they doing? I do not know. And I think the longest I can go Away from the away from the house to leave the cats by themselves. It'll be four days. I dare not go any longer than that. Because that litter box just gets too full. Mm -mm. That's about as long as they're uh little gravity fed food bowl last is about four days but the real thing is there I got them little water dish that little fountain and my one cat likes to move it across the floor and there's been a couple times where I've come home and it's unplugged. And when it's unplugged, there's no water. So if they were to unplug it, they would be without water for...
however long. I can't do that to him. Hell no. Horsies. I am almost to work so at this point I will bid you adieu and I will see you after my shift and we will discuss some more stuff I don't know what but we will talk about something <laughs>